Right guys, welcome to Friday the 2nd of October I'm sure you can already tell I've got the flight on back of the T5 and I'm trying to do a bit of edge cutting I don't like the way it's trimming I don't know why, you don't really trim the tractor, you break it <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, I'm just having a, a go with this. I have been through already once. The beginning. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I can't remember now. Just to take the plug ends off. The reason I'm doing this is because I have heard that the lab that usually does the hedge cutting might not be doing it anymore. If you live near a village, the word spreads quick. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the last on the bottom of this hedge up. This is the boys' winter field. So, before they all turn back into it, it would be nice to get it done and dusted. And then we're good for winter. Then. I've lost where that wire is. There is stock wire in here, barbed wire. I'm trying to find the release though. I don't really want to wrap it around. So all this hedge is, I'm on at the moment, is well, mostly black thorn lower down. There is half thorn in it, but the black thorn's kind of taken over a bit, funnily enough. So uh, yeah, just having to go with this. Um, I am going to have to have a look into getting a proper hedge cutter. As if this lad stopped doing the work, one was going to be, well, I don't know if the contractor's actually going to find somebody else to do it. <coughs> I presume they will. Um, but the lad that was doing it was really rather good. So, uh, if somebody else is going to start learning, I might as well do it myself. Um, and I've also had a few people asked me about it last year or so, six months. Uh, that's why tractors are usually a bit smaller than the contractors. And a lot of the stuff we do is grassland. Plus, as I'm sure a lot of people will find with contractors, uh, those lines are pretty damn busy. And if you don't have a good acreage to do, you kind of get left to the back of it. Which from a business point of view, I understand that. I don't know why you do it, but when you try to get stuff done, especially on this land around here, it's heavy. It won't dry out until spring. I need to get on with it. So, hence why I'm doing this now. So, people have been here before will know how wet this field gets. Um, that boat that's on the back is a 7 foot mower and the water will be as deep as that ram the uh, top of that ram is on a good year it will be the top of the flail so uh, yeah time is kind of crucial around here who's on that first there? Ah oh boy, watch it! Ah, bit of a swing up. Yeah, not that bad, that's mine either. It's a good nice left there, mostly. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what I can find. I might have one lined up if the lad isn't using it to buy it, but we've got a bit of a trip out for it. Just need to see what the scar is. As usual with me, it's muddy. Um, trying to get pound notes squared up for it. So yeah, I've got to go quite close to this edge of the flail as there is no real reach on it. So I've got about a foot to move it left or right, that's about it. As, as you probably just heard, it chucks it in the tractor. Absolutely wants it. 
so uh, yeah, I'm kind of on four reach on time, I'm trying to drive around it. Actually, it's not going to be too bad. We're there anyway, we've got another five metres. Yeah, definitely has some limitations as this thing, but some of these are designed to cut grass. It's doing alright. Right, let's go have a gander what we've done. Do, do, do. Right. Well, that's just stopped. So yeah, it's not done a bad job. You can probably just see where mower stopped. There's about another foot above it. You can see that's pretty much where it was done last year. So I'm within a couple of inches of it. But I don't think that's a bad job. Not for a flail, grass flail anyway. Probably could do with a sharp and light but never mind. So right. I'm done in this field, I'm going to carry on to the next field and I'm off for a brew fest. So I say I'll say bleh, spit my words out, I shall say thank you very much and I will catch you later. Cheers, bye.